Hello, now I'm going to show you how you can install and use free plugin for WordPress here in Footer Code. Go to your WordPress dashboard, then to plugins and choose add a new item from menu. Now in search plugins field, type head footer code and search for that keyword. You will get a bunch of plugins. So you have to find this one, head and footer code and install by click on install now button. Wait a moment and plugin will be installed. Now click on activate and plugin will be activated. Next, what you can do is to set up plugin, configure it. You can do that by visiting settings link from plugins page or by going to tools and then choose this head and footer code item here. So this is a general plugin settings page where you can see the plugin version and where you can access FAQ page or community support forum. On this page you can find a couple sections. First one is site-wide head and footer code uh, with head, body and footer code fields. So whatever code you insert here, uh, it will be displayed site-wide across the whole website. You can insert code in head, so that will go to head in HTML. If you insert code, some code here in body code, that will be inserted inside the body after the opening body tab. And if you insert something here to footer code, that will be inserted close to closing body uh, HTML tag. Along to this code field, you can see a priority field with some numbers. So uh, this is priority for printing this code related to other uh, code that is printed for WP head section. If you enter a larger number, that will be printed uh, closer to closing head. And if you enter a lower number, like one, that will be printed uh, closer to opening head. Same or similar is for footer code. If you set this to a larger number, like 999, then this code will be printed closer to closing body tag after the other scripts or if you set this to 1 or 2 or leave it to 10 that will be printed far away from closing body and after that code will be printed different other scripts that are hooked by other plugins or team. When we are speaking about body code for this to work you will need to have a uh, team that is compatible with WP body open hook. Uh, you can visit this link here and see how to enable that, or you can contact your uh, website developer who can do this for you. So code entered here will be printed just after opening body code. So that's it for this global section. Down below you can see the process show codes option, which is disabled by default. What this means, if you can answer, insert some code that contains some WordPress show code inside the footer or body, or even head, but I don't recommend to do this in head section. Uh, so if you insert that in body or in footer, uh, content generated by, by that show code will not be printed, so plain shortcode will be printed if this is set to disable. If you enable this, then shortcode will be processed and you will get content generated by that shortcode. I will show you that to you later. Uh, just to say a word or two about this article specific head and footer code settings. So by default, uh, only these global settings will be enabled. So 
whatever you insert here, it will be printed site-wide. If you have to insert some specific code on, for example, contact us page, uh, then you will need to enable article-specific head and footer code. And for posts, you have to enable this post. If you have to do that on pages, then enable these pages. If you have other uh, custom post types, they, they will be listed here, so enable them here, if you wish to have this article-specific head and footer code. So I will just set something here for head, just one simple comment, HTML comment. Now in body, I can insert some script like alert. So this is plain JavaScript. And here in footer, I can insert like some demo short code like this. Okay. And I will keep this disabled to not process short codes. Now I'll click save changes. And now let me go to front end to see how all this works. So first of all, this pop-up from body is executed. Hello world. Okay. Now if I scroll down, you can see here that plain short code is printed. If I go here and enable processing short codes, we can save and refresh front end. So text generated by that demo short code is printed instead of plain short code. Okay? And what you have to do is just to check how all this looks in source code. So this is head section. And here is this HTML comment I put here. As you can see, the other scripts and styles are printed below that because the priority for this global code is 10. What we can do is to set this to higher value. And now when I save it and refresh here, you will see that now my comment is after the other scripts and styles and latest after which one going closing head, which is excellent. Now regarding the body, so body code, this hello world, just to find it where it is, here it is. So it's printed here in the body, far away from open body. So if I set this to a lower amount number, like one, and refresh, let me see where it will appear. So now it's before the skip link. So it's something. And the code for footer, this one here, footer code. It's printed where? Probably here, yes it is. So after that one there are some scripts enqueued. So I wish to make this uh, the latest on the page. So I'm setting priority for footer to 99. And now when I refresh, that should go to the bottom just before the closing body, as you can see, after the previously include scripts. 
Okay. I'll change this comment. Like this. And here. And now let's see. I'm going to show you how you can use now article specific head and footer code. I'm going to pages, create new one. So as you can see here, on page editor there is head and footer code meta box with head code, body code and footer code fields. Now here we have two modes to append uh, code inserted here on article specific head and footer code after the global code or to replace the site-wide code. So how this works? If we append this and, for example, article specific HTML body comment, and we publish this, I'm going to view this page and to inspect So as you can see, this is the global body, and after that is printed the article-specific body comment. Actually, the code inserted here. Of course, there are code inserted globally for head, and there is one for footer. And if you wish to replace the existing code, which is general and only print some specific for the article, we are selecting this behavior, replace the site wide code. And yeah, update. And now when I refresh, is not replaced because this field is empty but body code is replaced so there is no any more global code only the article specific and of course the global footer code is there because we leave this field empty I hope this video is helpful for you if you have any question, please leave the comment below. Thank you.